Hi, beautiful. Today we're doing a virgin dill process on Regina. Hi, Hi, Regina. Regina is my social media manager. She is the queen behind all the photos and the videos you see. Thank you for all that. Today I'm about to repay you with some bleach and a lot of it. <laughs> Yesterday she was like, I think I want to be blonde. And I was like, I think that's a great idea. I'm going to be showing you guys how exactly I like to do my double process virgin applications. All the kinds of tips and tricks I've learned over the years on how to get the best results and everything in between. I'm going to show you how I mix the color, how I apply it, how to rinse it off correctly, and how to tone our double processes. So you ready to be blonde, Regina? First, let's talk about the fact that this is a professional tutorial, okay? So if you're at home trying to do this, maybe not for you. You may learn a thing or two, but at the same time, I wanna just say, I'm not trying to teach y'all at home. This is for people who already know how to do hair and have been to hair school or a hairstylist. There's gonna be things in here that might not make sense to you if you are not a hairstylist. I apologize, but today is centered on the professionals. We're gonna first section Regina's hair out. I'm just gonna center part her hair and get it into four quadrants and get it nice and pretty and ready for the application. For some reason, I can never do a center part, probably because it's too straight for me. <laughs> it's not gay enough, I can't do it. <laughs> How are you feeling, Regina? Excited, a bit scared, <laughs> but in a good way. <laughs> she was like, I'm a bit nervous. I'm like, why? It's fine. Because I never did that before. <laughs> I did like every color of the rainbow, mm -hmm. but not blonde. You're going to be very blonde after yes. today. And boom, we got our four quadrants sectioned out. Great. Let's go and mix up our color and then get applying. All right, let's get mixing. So I'm gonna be using 30 volume on our mids and ends because her hair is quite dark and we're gonna go quite fast through her hair. We wanna use a higher developer for less amount of time instead of using a lower developer and more time. So we're gonna be using our 30 volume with our powder and I'm going to just eyeball it. When I'm doing a virgin double process application with foils, I like to have it a little bit more on the runny thick side than like peanut butter thick side, if that makes any sense. We don't want it to drip out of the foils and we don't want it to be all clumped up in one place because when you're using foils, we kind of want the lightener to seep through all of the different layers of the hair and not just stay on the top. If you mix it up too thick, you're gonna probably get a lot of bleed marks and a lot of spots that are kind of missing and still dark when you pull out the foils. That is a great consistency here, beautiful. I'm also gonna throw a bit of Olaplex in the formula just so our hair doesn't melt off. I'm I'm going in and I'm using Metal Detox to ensure that I get good, reliable color results. And this is just gonna dry into the hair as I work it in throughout each section. Okay, so we're starting our application and what I'm gonna be doing is taking paper thin sections like this, placing the foil underneath, and we're gonna go in and we're gonna go about a half an inch away from the root because we all know that the heat from the scalp is gonna process the hair faster. So we're gonna start off from these ends. Now, I don't actually close the foils when I do this. I like to let a few more pieces down in between the foils and and I'm just adding to the previous. So we're gonna lift the foil up from the back and we're gonna add that new section of hair in there, making sure we get in between all of the hair and we're not missing anything. That is the most important thing with a double process on a virgin head of hair is that you're not missing any hair. That is the worst when you're done with the application and you rinse it all out and she has like a brown strand of hair. It's really embarrassing. I don't recommend it. And we're making sure to apply a lot of lightener. I'm just gonna be laying my foils on top and that's how I do it. I'm all about speed when it comes to coloring. Make sure that your foils are also really close to the scalp and we're gonna paint a half an inch away from the root. Guys, just go fast. That is what I've learned over the years of doing hair. Just put it on there. Nobody wants to be in your chair for 10 hours getting a double process. Actually, there are some people who do want that, but I think they're a little cuckoo. When it comes to mixing my lightener, I don't mix a ton at a time. I don't wanna mix enough for like the entire head all at once because what happens is the lightener, the more it's exposed to air, it becomes less and less powerful. So we want that power to always stay very strong throughout the entire process. So mixing lightener is a pain in the ass. You gotta do it like a million times when you're doing a virgin double process. Like you're gonna go through a lot of lightener. So I have another tip for you. If you wanna make sure that you have even distribution of lightener on both sides of the hair, a great thing to do is apply the lightener to the foil first, like this, and then lay the hair on top. That way you're getting the back side coated with lightener at the same time as the front. Thank you. 
Okay, the first section has been completed. Now all I'm gonna do here is just do a little boom, and that's it. We don't need to fold every single foil. It is such a waste of time, trust me. I've done it before, don't do it. We're gonna move on to the next section, which is this front side. If I was doing this by myself, I would go back to front instead of doing side, 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 side. But since there's two of us, me and Christine are doing our hair right now, I'm gonna be going back to front as Christine goes from back to front. That way everything processes evenly and at the same amount of time. After each section is done, I'm gonna be setting my timer for about 45 minutes. Minutes. That is when my first check is gonna take place. Also, please don't take a lot of time with your sections. This should be done in about 15 minutes or 20 minutes at most per section. Ideally, the entire head should be finished in about 70 to 80 minutes if you're fast enough. So set a clock, watch yourself as you go and make sure you are keeping on schedule and continuing to color that hair quickly and efficiently as you go. Cause sometimes you can slow down as you get to the front of the head, but we do not want that. We want to pick up that speed and keep going really fast. Let me get to the front of her head and let's get this all cooking because it is already turning blonde back here. Ooh, you're already getting blonde. Oh my God. So when we color the side of the hair, we're gonna be going at a diagonal like this. That way you get all those little sideburn pieces, all the little baby hairs. This is gonna help because the head is rounded, obviously. This will ensure that we're getting it really close to the scalp at all times. And we're making sure that everything is evenly saturated and gorgeous as we move up. So take tiny little sections as we were doing before, work on a diagonal and continue up the head until you reach that little tiny triangle in the corner and complete it and you're good. Make sure you're putting the same amount of hair in each foil because if you don't, some of the sections that are really, really thin in those foils can overprocess, and the thicker slices will underprocess. Okay, we have completed the entire mids and end sections and she's fully saturated. It is looking good. It is getting nice and bright yellow. Once each section processes for about 45 minutes and gets to like kind of a bright yellow stage, I'm gonna start taking these foils out one by one and going on her root and painting every single root section. I'm gonna be using 20 volume and powder lightener to do that. Once that's all done, we're gonna go through each section and kind of make sure that every single piece of hair on those mids and ends are covered as well. How are you feeling? Are you still alive underneath there? <laughs> Is it heavy? <laughs> <laughs> you have like 10 pounds of oh foils God. in your head. It's kind of artistic though. Yeah, yeah, I see that. I'm into it. I am starting at the top and basically just flipping over each section and painting. And I did the same sort of mixing as I did with the last lightener. It's pretty thick. And we're gonna take the next one off, flip it over and paint. So we're just getting in between all of those foils and painting every single piece of root and also cross-checking our sections and making sure we didn't miss anything. This is your chance to kind of fix any problems that are going on. If you see that you missed a whole section somehow, like you can put more lightener on those sections and make sure it's all covered. But everything is looking really nice. It is lifting really well. Make sure you're doing the root sections in the same pattern that you applied the mids and ends. So I did this section first, then I did this section, I finished this section and went to that section. I like to re really, really pack on the lightener, as you can probably tell. This is also your chance to check on the elasticity of the hair. Take a section and just do a little tug. Make sure it's still nice and strong. You do not want any flimsiness. That means the hair is probably about to break off. So immediately take the lightener off if that is what's happening, if you're getting an elastic sort of feel to the hair. But right now her hair feels nice and strong. Um, I'm definitely monitoring it as I work through it and making sure nothing gets too light. You really have to worry about those like first strands that you do, like the things underneath on the hairline, it tends to get really hot underneath here. So make sure you air that out and don't let the hair all fall on top of itself back there. All right, so we have made it to the other side of her head. I'm gonna look at her root in about 35 minutes and see how it's processing. But so far, so good. Did I just get color on your forehead? <laughs> 
And you guys, normally I would go back, back, front, front, but just because I had another person working on this with me, I'm going back, front, back, front. And again, with the speed, like this should be really, really quick, like five to seven minutes per section. This should be really simple, this part, because all you're doing is just taking foils out and painting in between the sections. So bing, bang, boom, be done with it quick. How's your head feel? Itchy. <laughs> <laughs> Such an annoying itch, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of in between like coldness and uh -huh. itchiness. We have finished putting the lightener on her hair. Now I'm gonna do the thing I always do, which is spray the little processing cap with some water inside, just so it kind of steams up with the heat from her scalp and continues to let the lightener process and not dry out. So we're gonna let this sit. I'm gonna look at it in like 35 minutes and see how it's going. But so far, we're getting yellow. <laughs> we're getting somewhere. Now you look like a lunch lady. Yes. You're free to move around and I'll see you in a bit, okay? Okay. <laughs> On to the rinse and the shampoo. Make sure you're very thorough with this. Now we're gonna shampoo twice. For some reason, the lightener just adds this kind of like chalky feel to the hair. And if you don't completely get it out of the hair, it just remains feeling really dry. Usually when the hair feels dry after you blow dry it from a double process, it's probably because there's still lightener in there and you need to do another shampoo. Do not scrub the scalp. Make sure that your water is lukewarm. You do not want it hot and you do not want it really cold. Cold will tend to snap the hair because you're bringing the hair from really hot to really cold too fast. It's not safe. And you also don't want it too hot because the head is already on fire. It's already irritated. You're just gonna add more irritation to the head and further expand the hair fiber. And we don't want that. I'm also gonna pre-tone her hair with a purple shampoo. I'm using my own, Supernova. It's just gonna get rid of a little bit of that yellow before we then go in with the actual toner after. After I shampoo, I'm gonna let the Olaplex Step 2 sit on for about 10 minutes rinse it off and then we're gonna start blow drying what it's even wider on the screen are you freaking out <laughs> i am can you believe it no <laughs> i love it look oh at God. this hair look how white it is <laughs> it's gonna be so good when we tone it oh my it's God. perfect it's so healthy too it feels amazing when you do it right it stays healthy okay we are not losing any hair that is a great sign you guys we just did an olaplex treatment just to make sure her hair stays intact i also use metal detox so her hair is looking really good we're gonna now dry her hair to about 90 percent and i'll be back to apply the shades eq toner and get everything perfect because it already basically is like i can literally leave her like this yeah <laughs> I love it already. <laughs> like, it'll, when this is dry, it'll be flawless. All right, we have dried the hair. We're now gonna start on the root. We're gonna apply everything in kind of like a root drop pattern. It's gonna go down in the back with the root shadow and up in the front. This is kind of like a root shadow, but not a real one because we are basically just gonna leave the toner on for different amounts of time on the roots versus the ends. So it's gonna appear like just a half a shade darker on the root just because we left it on for longer, but it's gonna be the same exact shade all over. We're gonna do that and then we're gonna look at it and see how that looks and we might go in again with a root shadow just you know sometimes you just don't know until you do it and you see the results and then you might have to just perfect it after that okay we're using shades eq to tone today i'm thinking a level nine but with just a little splash of 10 in there just so it doesn't go dark i mean it's not gonna be dark because level nine and shades eq is like quite light we're gonna do nine v to cancel out any of that yellow we're gonna do nine gi just to get a little bit of that like gold but iridescent sort of clear but cool toned level nine in there and then a 9p just because i like that kind of titanium pearlescent look as well and then just a little splash of 10n i'm not even gonna really measure i'm just gonna do a little doop at the end just to kind of anchor it down and make sure it doesn't go too violet or too um dark on us and then we're gonna put in our shades eq gloss gel All right, we're gonna start by outlining this section and you wanna work really fast. The Shades EQ only goes on the head for 20 minutes, so you don't have a lot of time. Just do it, put it on there. And this part in the back is where you want the most sort of root shadow, root drop. So I'm gonna go down about an inch from the head. If her hair was longer, I'd probably go farther down. See how fast I'm working this. You can already see that beautiful tone show up. Also naturally, hair is sort of ashier at the root area and sort of goes into a warmer color on the ends. So we're trying to make it look like a sort of natural color, even though it's totally not. 
When you take vertical back sections and then you paint it all at the same sort of height on the hair, when you let it down, it'll have a little bit of a variation of height because you're over directing the opposite direction. And this will give you a really beautiful blend on the root instead of it looking like a line. And as we get to the front of the head, we're just gonna slightly go a little bit less high in the front. That way she has all of that brightness right around her face. Plus at the edges of the hair, it tends to develop really fast with the toner. So we don't want that to over process and turn really gray. When we get to the front here, we're basically just tapping the root. Look at how pure white we got her hair. Oh my God, that toner was scaring me just a little bit, but it ended up being perfect. I'm just gonna style it and finish off the look, but it looks incredible. Do you love it or do you love it? Of course, I couldn't imagine that I could look like this. You look Thanks so, so fun, like you belong in this color. Yeah. This looks incredible. Let's just show everybody like the flawlessness between this root shadow and this end color. Like again, we just did the same formula over everything, but as you can see, because I left it on the roots longer, you're getting this beautiful depth at the root and a little bit of shadow. So I love doing that. It's super easy. Instead of mixing up two different formulas, you can just do one all over and get great results. I also love that there's like a little bit of yellow still in the ends. It makes look reflective and natural instead of like heavy way down and like dirty looking. But then her roots have a little bit more of an ash tone to make it look natural. It also gives it like more depth and more volume at the top if you make it a little bit more darker and ashier. So I just think it came out perfect and like I can't stop touching it and I need to stop <laughs> because it feels really good too. It's so soft. Feel yeah, it. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. I can't believe that this is my hair. <laughs> It looks so good. And she finally has like texture in her hair. Curls. And curls. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely took a bit of time, but we got there. I hope you guys learned a lot about the process of bringing somebody from a natural brunette to a double process, like white platinum blonde. How do you feel, Regina? I have no words, literally. I'm just like shook. It hasn't fully set in for her yet. <laughs> yeah, still processing. <laughs> I just can't, um, can't stop watching myself in yeah, the mirror. Like, yeah, she's like, who is that? Oh, that's the best feeling. I'm so jealous. <laughs> yeah, I'm a new person that. now. I want that. <laughs> I've done too many things to my hair. I never feel like that anymore. It's like, oh, my hair's blue. Oh, my hair's pink. <laughs> but uh, I think this is your color. You belong like this. So that transformation is complete. You fully got your Mondo makeover today. You're the first yeah. one in a while. So if you'd like to check out any of the X Mondo hair products we use in today's video, they're all linked below. We use electric rain and we use force field heat shields and our hair just feels so beautiful. Make sure you guys check me out everywhere else and my hair care, my hair color brand. They are on Instagram. I'm on Instagram and TikTok and everywhere else. And check out some other videos right here and right here. There's so many good ones. Yay! <laughs> and that's basically it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Don't forget to live your extra what? Life. <laughs> like you are now. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>